Hey guys, I just finished uh, recording a video for you, the protein video you're actually watching right now. Um, I'm editing it on my computer, on my chair right now. Woo, what a reclining chair. This is the future, baby. This is the future. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I recorded it, and the mic quality you're hearing right now, it's not going to be the same. Uh, I, used, I was using my webcam. Webcam right there. This is actually Movie Maker because... Apparently the footage doesn't work in Lightworks, so we're back to Movie Maker for a video. Yeah. So, um, the mic quality isn't very good, according to me. What am I even saying? The mic quality isn't very good. So I apologize for that. I'm going to figure out a new way to record, hopefully with this camera, but I thought the webcam had a good angle, so I decided to keep it. And I just recorded the whole video, and I don't really want to do it again. So, sorry. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Excuse the mic, and I'll see you later. I think this is good enough. It's gonna have to be good enough. Whoa. Alright. So, I guess, start the video. What's going on guys? Eddie from EB Fitness. Hope you can hear me right now. I am using my webcam. It's a little different. You can see my room. I have like a little thing under me. It's right there. Oh my, oh my god. This is so confusing. It's right on my screen. I'm such an idiot. It's on my screen right now and I want to look at it but if I look at it, I look like this. And it looks really weird. So I want to look at you guys because I'm talking to you. Cause this video concerns you. Paper, this is serious stuff. I hope you enjoy my room, my uh, pink, oh, pink comforter. Respect the pink comforter, man, it's pretty, pretty comfortable. Anyways, welcome to my room, welcome. Hope this webcam works well, hope the audio is decent. Anyways, I have a video for you all today. And it's kind of a video that I wanna have happen in my channel. Uh, what I want to do is I want, if you guys post a comment with a question, I would like to answer it. And since I'm a small channel, no one really comments, which makes sense, right? Small channel. So I uh, went on to Reddit, the uh, Reddit or fitness subreddit. I'll put the link of it right here somewhere, maybe. If I remember, I will. If I, if I don't, then I won't. So um, take my word for it. <laughs> Anyways, I have something right here. As you can see, question. Whoa, question. Subreddit. That's the little Reddit dude right there. Anyway, so the question of the video is: Do I need protein shakes, or should I take protein shakes? I recently started working out, and I bought a tub of protein powder for protein shakes. As a lot of websites I've read suggest them, as they're a great source of protein. That's true. That is true. Protein shakes is a fantastic source of protein. However, when I was looking at the amount of protein powder for each shake, or when I was looking at the amount of protein powder for each shake suggested, it really isn't much. Only about 25 grams. Okay, okay, okay. Um, obviously this video is formatted towards beginners. So I understand if 25 grams doesn't seem like a lot of protein, but uh, let me put it this way. So your average Greek yogurt, right? That's another source of uh, good source of protein you can get. That protein per yogurt, um, per most yogurts, the protein is somewhere from 12 grams to maybe even 14 grams, somewhere in there. Uh, but the carbs can be up, can range from 10 grams of carbs to like 22 grams of carbs, 30 grams of carbs. So what you're kind of trading up is you're, with the protein shakes and the protein powder, you are reducing the carbs and increasing the protein. So honestly, uh, 25 grams is a lot because think of it this way. Your average Greek yogurt that's always on sale in the grocery store, right? That's gonna be about 12 grams of protein, around 25 grams of carbs, right? And if you want the same amount of protein, as it says here, 25 grams, you're gonna have to eat two of those, right? Eat two of those, so that adds up to about 50 grams of carbs. And I realize you guys may think that's not a lot of carbs, or if you're new to macro counting, you don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I can make a video about that in the future. But 
for me, I am cutting. So I'll go into this in another video. See, I have these videos I have to tell you guys about stuff. Because I'm assuming if you're watching this, you're new. So I am cutting, which means the most basic way I can say it is I want to be in a caloric deficit where what I eat, I I use more energy than I eat, than I consume, right? So that that's what a cut is. A bulk is where you eat more than you Cons or you, you eat more than you work out than you use jeez you eat more than you use and my hands going all up here Ugh. anyways so for me I'm trying to keep my carbs around a hundred grams of carbs and maybe that's not uh, the best although I am necessarily new myself I guess you could say but that's what's working for me right now that's what I'm happy with and I'm gonna stick with Although I don't really stay to 100 grams of carbs specifically, but that's for another video. Anyways, um, is it really worth me buying protein shakes when I can easily eat 25 grams from another source? That's what I just said. Like I am for the rest of my daily protein amounts. Or is the protein and protein shakes better or more valuable than protein from other sources? Sorry, this is a stupid question. Like I said, I am new to working out. All right, so um, basically the whole gist of it is protein shakes, protein uh, protein powder, for example, which I'm assuming this guy is talking about, protein powder. Your protein, your creatine, your pre-workout, your BCAAs, all, the thi all of those things are supplements. They supplement your diet, okay? So what you use these for is to kind of fill in the area that you can't with regular other food. So when you do protein shakes, you are, you're not getting real food in a sense that you're not eating chicken, right? You could eat chicken, for example, and get the same amount of protein. The protein is exactly the same, right? You get the same amount of protein, but with protein powder, you are getting ease of access and convenience. That's pretty much what you're paying for. Not necessarily paying for it, but that's what you're getting. Ease of access. So. What I'm gonna tell you guys is you be the judge. You be the judge if you wanna buy some protein powder. Personally, I use protein powder. Whenever I go to the gym, I come home with a protein shake. So I pretty much have a protein shake five, actually, yeah, five days out of the week. Five or six days out of the week, I have a protein shake. So I, I love protein powder. What can I say? I love that whey protein, baby. But it's up to you. If you want to get your protein from foods, like chicken, Greek yogurt, all those things, that's up to you. Cottage cheese, whatever. Beef, doesn't matter. The protein is the same. For protein powder, you're, you're getting ease of access, which is pretty valuable in my opinion. So That's all I have to say. If you have a question about this, about macros, about anything, I'm here to help you guys. Post in the comments. That was really stupid. Post in the comments. <laughs> Uh, I'll be doing more of these in the future. I hope that it helped. Um, until next time, this has been Eddie from EB Fitness, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.